Come on, friend. Lucky KC number 13. Oh my god, the white lily seeds. You would, th <laughs> you would think I'd be very excited about these right now. Oh, so uh, I have some bittersweet news about white lily seeds. I did, I'll, I'll show you. Ooh, I forgot to plant my sporty seed again. I'll, I'll replant them in a second. As you guys know, I was looking for white lily seeds because I had the white lily contract, but just before I went and killed the Hispori, I actually reset my contract, and now I have tomatoes instead. I didn't know for a while that you could just go get the easier level contract. So, at least now I have white lily seeds. It sucks, though. These take like 20 minutes to grow one seed. That would have been a better contract than, oh, than tomatoes. Oh, well. This episode is not going to be purely herb lore farming and construction though, in fact I am on the verge of doing a 24 hour stream where it will be all Hardcore Iron Man Slayer, so you'll probably see some clips from that. Hey, there it is! 86 Slayer, thank you very much. This is a, uh, an in-between level, so it's not that exciting, but it's my first Slayer level in a long time, so I'll take it. It's also not that surprising since I've been sitting at like 30k XP to the level for forever it feels like. I'm now one level from Krakens, but... 374k XP, that's gonna be a little while. Probably getting on this stream with how much time we have left, but... I mean, if I kept 30k XP an hour, that's gonna be 12 hours of that, 12 and a half hours of that. I'm more likely to do 25k XP an hour. So, I mean, it's gonna be... Maybe like 4 in the morning I might get, 4 in the morning my time, I might see 87 Slayer. So right around the time I'm starting for Zulra, starting to kill Zulra. Oh, I got a whip! Fuck yes, dude! Second whip in the account. Get the hell out of here, dude. Nice. I'll take it. This is a spare whip for now, since I can't fight the Kraken and get a tentacle. But, uh, nice, nice. You're clearly getting a lot more of your farming XP from regular trees and fruit trees overall still. And it was 94 range, by the way. Mid-farming conversation, 94 range, thank you very much. Probably getting 94 range before going to bed, as long as everything goes well. So 826k XP to go, Jesus. My god. What have you got for me? <gasps> Dude, I just got the missed battle staff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this unique? That would be... Something I have a hard time even reacting to. Guys, I did it. I don't know what to say. So I got a unique. I'll say before, I was like, yeah, I mean, any staff would be would be alright. Was it Mist that was brought up earlier, or was it the other? Someone said they got it off a of Necriarch. Because you just gave it to me, basically. There's a fucking there's shit on the ground that I want still. There it is! 87 Slayer. We can now kill Cave Kraken. Also 1975 total level. Not bad, not bad. 413k to the next level. Holy cow. Alright. 87 Slayer is step one of getting the trident. Now I gotta get a Kraken task and actually fight the things and maybe get the drop. But there it is. Oh my god. Started tonight with 85, almost 86 Slayer. So this has been a lot of XP gained. And plenty of time to get that Kraken task. Honestly, there's a chance. Now these will be the slowest Suquas of my life right here. Please. Oh my god, there's a chance. Oh my god, it's Cave Kraken, yes. Oh. 155 of them. Oh yeah. Alright, it didn't take too many points, I guess. So during the 24 hour stream, I only got the one Kraken task. I'm not necessarily rushing for a Trident right now. I would really like the Trident specifically for Barrows, but I am trying to get to Zora content pretty soon. And when I go to fight Zora, it'd be nice to have a Trident instead of like an Ivan Staff or Fire Wave, whatever I ended up using. So I would like to get that Trident, but I'm not necessarily going to keep skipping tasks for it. During the 24 hour, we were making a lot of really solid progress, and I was just thinking that'd probably be the coolest way to basically wrap it up, is finish it off with a Trident. So I spent a pretty good amount of points hoping to get that. Turns out I didn't get so lucky on that end. But I got some Kraken kills in, and you really never know. Uh, the regular ones, it's only 1 in 200 to get an empty Trident compared to the boss. It's a 1 in 512, but you get that full Trident, so you get a lot of runes too. Once I have my own trident, I will go fight the boss instead of the little ones, but I want to fight these now for the better chance of just getting a trident. I don't mind filling it up myself at first, of course. I just want to have one. And being able to use the trident on the Kraken itself would be so much better than, than Fire Wave here. I'm also kind of running low on uh, burnt pages in my Tome of Fire, but maybe it's going to end up being the perfect amount of burnt pages that I had, because 
just about zero charges right when I get a trident. It'll be a while before I have to use it again. There'll be some decent timing, but I'll have to get lucky on the Kraken tasks uh, in future episodes. But it turns out I didn't get so lucky on getting a tentacle in this one, or getting a trident in this one. Didn't get a tentacle either, but the tentacles are very rare from the little ones, so I probably would have been kind of ticked if I got a tentacle this early. Ah, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, farming levels have actually been going fairly well. I feel like the mid-70s I slowed down a bit, but late 70s, early 80s have been... Going kind of hard mostly because of herb runs. 83 gives me spirit trees, which I do have a few spirit seeds to work with. A couple of spirit saplings, actually. I can only plant one at a time right now, so I don't know exactly. I'll probably plant and dig it up for a little bit until I have enough seeds that, like, once I can plant all the spirit trees, I'll be able to plant one in each spot. But I believe I have more seeds than that right now, so I could use them for XP. Realistically, I'm probably not going to rush to plant it right away. Most of the farming gains have really just been about collecting supplies for sure, so... I haven't been too uh, too rushed on farming XP, but now I have the option for spirit trees, which is actually pretty big. Still on sort of a farming note here, I believe I brought it up in the last episode. In fact, when the episode came out, it probably was already in the game. It was just about to be updated. They changed volcanic ash that you now can get more volcanic ash per mine, or every time you mine, depending on your level. It didn't really come out right, but... I currently get five volcanic ash every time I get some instead of just one like I used to and at 97 mining I would even get six which is insane you can get like six or seven thousand ash per hour now which is so much faster than it used to be but uh doesn't necessarily tick me off that I did so much of it at the, the slower method I don't really find it to be a good reason to complain just because it was slower when you did it and now there's a new faster method out there it just kind of makes you sound like the whiny grandpa who doesn't know how to use his fucking smartphone so I'm very happy with this update yes it would have been nice if the thousand plus volcanic ash I mined before was instead 5,000 plus but screw it I now have this option in the game which is gonna be a lot faster I gotta spend much less time here and I was running low on ultra compost I've been using a lot of ultra compost for my herbs obviously so I could definitely use more of it and we'll be grinding a little bit of ash here and I just got 93 magic didn't even notice how close I was getting. I knew that I might get the level of this task, but I didn't realize it was that close already. 93 mage, looking good. Officially past that halfway mark level-wise, huh? That's not bad. I'll take any mage level I can get at this point. I have been working on herb lore for a few episodes now, making a couple of big jumps. I I'm going to have more XP to go after this sit down of it but I'm gonna make all my unfinished potions turn them all into some actual finished potions grab some good XP from it and I believe I'm getting 81 herb lore out of this in fact it's almost gonna be enough for 82 but 81 is what I'm going for so I can unlock Sarah bruise I do really want to get myself to the point that I finish my desert hard diary so that I can get these decanted or decanted I can get the uh, unfinished potions made for just a fee I don't even know if I would use it if I had it right now because I don't have a lot of money for the fee. And I gotta get that Calphite Queen kill. I don't really have great gear for the Calphite Queen. And I might as well finish up some of my higher melee stats. And I might as well finish up some of my melee stats before I go in there. I could even be 99 range, play it a little safer. It's not that big of a deal. But it would be kind of nice. I have a lot of herbs here to work with, and uh, skipping the unfinished potion part of it would save a lot of time. Some of you are probably thinking it also saves a little bit of time if I would just clean my herbs while I was doing my herb runs. I often like to keep a lot of my grimy herbs in the bank just for warming up. Uh, when I first log in, I think one of the easiest ways to warm up your clicks is just clean some herbs. I don't go through a lot of them, obviously, because I have tons of grimy herbs in my bank still. But that's usually the thought process I'm going through in the farming run. I just pick them, get them noted, throw them in the bank, I'll deal with them later. I will be making some super restore potions this time. I've been planting my snapdragons, so I have like five, six hundred snapdragons to work with. But I have like no red spider's eggs to work with, so I'm doing uh, a few of these spidine kills, which is a spider and a sardine, so spideen, I guess. I said that really wrong now that I think about it. It looks more like spidine for some friggin' reason when I read it, but it's a sardine. None of these creatures make any sense to me. This is kind of a weird thing, the uh, the creature creation in the Tower of Life, but you do need to use um, one red spider's eggs and one raw sardine to, uh, to spawn one of these things, and then they drop two to six uh, red spider's eggs. So this is going to be pretty good for collecting enough eggs to get the uh, super restores done. And then I'm actually going to have a good chunk of super restores to use with these Sarah brews that I'm apparently unlocking. So that's actually going to be some, some good upgrades. Ah, uh, this is big news, everybody. Here comes 81 Herb Lore, and like I've said a couple times now, it's gonna be Ceridoman Brews unlocked. I have a few Ceridoman Brews in the account from fighting grotesque guardians. They drop them occasionally, but now I can make my own, and I have tons of toad flax and tons of nests to work with. So anytime I need brews, I am gonna have some to work with, which is pretty big. The biggest thing for me immediately is gonna be Jad tasks. I'm kind of tired of using sharks and prayer potions on Jad tasks, 
but with bossy in general having brews and restores is going to be nice to have just it's a little more end game stuff in general but that just because i'm not using a ton of them immediately doesn't mean it's worthless by any means so i'm going to finish up making a bunch of these potions we'll take a quick peek at how the potions tab is looking i guess because i actually have quite a lot of them now and then um probably gonna check in on the oak log life yeah some of my potions are just looking wild right now so most of my uh higher levels and really i guess any skill like mining has been my biz biggest example i've been training mining mostly to collect supplies so mining xps felt kind of kind of lazy and easy and i don't know it's pretty pretty passive in a way i haven't focused on mining xp herbal has been the opposite i've been focused only on herbal xp i do need these potions but i've had enough potions to work with for a little while so i haven't been desperate by any means and i'm, I'm doing this because i need levels but look at what it results in, holy crap. I'm not breaking any records here with 24 mil just in these few potions. And I didn't make any more ranging potions or anti-fires yet, so I could have boosted those for sure. But holy crap, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot to work with for a while. The stamina potions is what gets me the most. Over a thousand stamina is gonna take me forever to go through. It was only, what, an episode or two ago that I didn't have any stamina potions. Now I got over a thousand, which is definitely something i'm going to work through because i use a lot of stamina potions but um that's that's crazy this is a lot of po 1600 prayer potions too like this is gonna this is gonna take a while to use all of these that's really good news this is the benefit of actually grinding out some of your herb lore no doubt all right everybody for a final note on this episode i'm gonna actually do a log check on the oak logs that i've been working on it's been a couple episodes that i've at least brought it up briefly that I've been collecting some oak logs for construction XP. These plus the logs that I've gotten from uh, miscellanea, the teak logs and the mahogany logs, are actually going get to me, get me pretty close to the 82 construction that I would like. So conveniently got a, a nest with a bird's egg in it this time, which is pretty uncommon, not gonna lie. I need about 31,000 oak planks to get to 82 construction from where I am right now, give or take. Currently this is 16.5k oak planks if you combine the planks that I have and the logs that I have. And then teaks are worth like, it's like one and a half uh, oak planks per teak or oak logs per teak log, however you want to look at it. And then uh, two times the XP you get for mahogany. So this is like what, 5k oak logs worth of XP and this is almost 6k worth of oak logs. So if that was a decent estimate, that'd be 11k plus the 16k I have is 27,000 of the 31k I need. Uh, clearly rough estimate, but I also have some logs waiting in miscellaneous, so I don't have very many hours of oak logs to go, actually. I've been making pretty solid progress on that overall. And when I can pull the trigger on construction, that's definitely going to get me my 2,000 total level. So I need 15 levels to get to 82. I need 17 levels to get to 2k. So just the magic levels. I believe I'll get two mage levels from doing plank make. That plus construction is the 17 levels I need. And on the way there, I'll probably see another farming level. I'll be doing Slayer Gains, which could get more magic XP. Uh, Slayer levels are involved in there, obviously, but ranging levels, hit points, and I'm heading back to Nightmare Zone kind of soon because I want to get 90 plus attack and finish off 99 strength. So I think 2k total level might be coming in the next episode, but that's going to have to happen in the next episode. Thank you very much for stopping in and watching, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed this one. Pretty good amount of progress made. Uh, I'm glad to get back in that Slayer life for sure. I'm hoping to get that uh, uh, trident as soon as possible because I'd also like to take that to some Barrows content, almost ASAP, but we'll see. We'll see if I can get lucky in some cracking tasks. Thanks for stopping in again, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.